trying to consolidate Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's grip on power. Egypt's parliament overwhelmingly approved a series of constitutional amendments, allowing the president to extend his current term by two years and to run for another six-year term after that, meaning he could potentially stay on until 2030. MPs also backed provisions giving the military greater influence over politics and granting al-Sisi more control over the country's judiciary. The president's supporters say the changes are necessary to allow him to complete political and economic reform. We have complete trust in the political leadership. And in terms of what was achieved on the ground for stability, security and safety, we approve of the constitutional amendments. Al-Sisi has been repeatedly criticized for cracking down on dissent and political opponents, with Egyptian authorities having jailed thousands of protesters, activists and journalists since he took power in 2014. The amendments to extend his term limit were slammed by human rights groups and opposition MPs who denounced an attempted power grab. The transfer of power is a moral principle created by the revolution. It is impossible to tamper with this principle. This is a social contract which binds the ruler as well as those who are ruled. Vastly outnumbered in parliament, there was little the opposition could do to block the amendments, which must now be put to a nationwide referendum to take effect. Last week, Egyptian authorities blocked an online petition denouncing the changes. Meanwhile, banners and billboards urging people to vote for the amendments have already begun to flood the streets of Cairo.